Hello Crafters, I'm Jan B and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. Today's video is number two in what I hope will become a series and is called Jan B's QTs, that is quick tips for stress free card me making. Today I'm dealing with embossing folders. Have you ever experienced this problem? Now I'm not sure whether you can see it from there. Ooh, I have tried zooming in in an earlier video but it didn't work, it just made me feel very seasick. So can you see where the stars are, I would say torn, they look torn to me and there's also crinkles in the paper that lead from one star to another star. Move that away slowly because I don't want to make you feel sick. Right, as you can see the design on that was stars and that's from the Lucky Stars embossing folder. The solution to this is really quite simple. Sorry you got glare there, let's move that out of the way. Um, what you need to do is to get some of our white vellum A4 cardstock, which is this. It's really nice heavy duty. And hear that. And you need to cut one piece. Well, that's coming apart. I need more glue on that. And you need to put one piece on the front and one piece on the back. That is adhered, was, sorry, adhered in there with some snail, but obviously didn't press it in far enough. Once you've done that, if you put your cardstock in there, whoops, let's hope I have another piece, I have, not quite big enough, but never mind. And then make your sandwich. Another tip uh, when you're running your embossing folders through your Big Shot, you should have your fold of the embossing folder go through first. So when you get through the other side, you open up and you get perfection absolute perfection. I'm going to bring it up to show you so that you can see. This is like mirror writing isn't it? <laughs> I hope you can see that. It is absolutely perfect. So gone are the days that I waste cardstock because of the impressions that I'm getting from my embossing folders. Once you've got your two pieces in there, leave them in there, just a little bit of snail to stick them down top and bottom, leave them in there and every time you emboss, put your paper in between the two sheets and push it through. Perfection every time. Um, well, thanks for watching my video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please contact me. I'll certainly be more than happy to help you. I would also appreciate it if you liked my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, take time out to visit my website, which is www.jambicards.com. Um, you will find on there, I have a link to my 24-7 online stamping up shop where you can buy any of our products. So, many thanks for joining me today and happy crafting. Until next time, cheerio!